Alright y'all, we are packing for Japan right now. Um, we leave in the morning actually like literally at like 5 a.m. I think our flight takes off at 5 a.m. So we are going to be going to the airport at like 3 in the morning. So of course, you know, as we are, we're procrastinating. So we're packing right now. Obviously I'm like halfway through. Dakota hasn't even started. And at least this is not a catastrophe because I knew what I was going to pack. So no stress here on my end at least. How are you feeling? Uh. I'm not stressed. I wear the same clothes every day. There you go. 3.45 a.m. and we are about two minutes away from pulling out of the house and heading to the airport to get to Japan. The flight situation is actually we are going to fly from Dallas to LA and then have a layover and then LA, Tokyo and we're meeting up with Ty and Abba in LA. We slept a grand total of two hours and we are exhausted. It's gonna be a rough probably I want to say 15-ish hours till we're in our hotel and ready to sleep again for the night. So let's get started. Okay, we made it onto our flight. I think it's like a three hour flight. So we have three hours till we land in LA and then we're on our way to Tokyo. Yep. Look at who we have found. Hi everyone. Ty and Napa, we're our little back. travel buddies for this trip. We are all going to Japan together. And now we can finally go check our luggage and get ready for our flight to Japan. I think it's like 11 or 12 hours. We made it on the plane to Tokyo. It kind of looks like he's literally ready to. Oh, I'm ready to pass out. Already pass out. It is a 12 hour flight. We are like preparing ourselves for a good night's sleep, essentially. Next stop, Tokyo. We landed in Japan. We are here. We are here. We flew in, we just got through customs and we're heading to pick up our baggage. I can't wait to get outside and see what just what the city looks like. We take a train to Tokyo and then a train to Kyoto. So we've got a couple train rides before we're like officially home for the night. Um, but it is actually, I think, four in the morning at home. So a little bit of jet lag, but I think we were able to catch up on the flight. So we're about to get on a train from Tokyo to Kyoto. So this is what it looks like. It's like 11 o'clock at night and we're actually finally hitting like a wall. So it's time to catch some, some sleep. So head up to, to our hotel. Good morning, everyone. It is officially our first official day in Japan. We are in Kyoto and we are just leaving our little hotel for the day and heading to go see that. That. So cool. A temple. That looks so cool. Here's my outfit. Just kind of casual today. We're just wandering around. I think we're going to get some coffee, maybe some food, and then head up to the temple. Okay, we have heard so many good things about 7 Eleven in Japan. So one of the first things we're doing this morning is heading into 7-Eleven and just going to see what our selection looks like. I know I need to get like the strawberry sandwich, strawberry cream sandwich. And there's a couple other things that I've seen recommended on TikTok. So we're gonna go see what they have and maybe try some of them. Okay, we just finished eating all of our food. You can tell that it was all delicious. Everyone say your favorite thing. Ooh, mine was the sandwiches. Sandwich, for sure. Egg sandwich. That was really original. Everyone said the same thing. I don't know what my favorite thing was, but I did like the fruit. It tasted way different the corn than dog it does. Was good. Yeah. I, was, I thought was. Yeah, I thought the corn dog was also really good. Oh yeah, this is These Dakota's awesome. new discovery. Apparently strawberry Kit Kats are thing. And they're so. square, they're cube. Yeah, they're like little cubes. We have a lot more food ahead of us, so I'm sure we'll have a new favorite by tomorrow. So we've just made it to Nara, which is home to the Japanese deer park. And basically there are a bunch of these deers that just populate like a park here in Japan. And you can go and see them and take pictures with them. And they're really docile. You can feed them. And some of them have even been trained to bow before you give them a cookie. So we're gonna go and see some of these deer and feed them some of these little crackers. Oh, hi buddy. Hi, 
Okay, I've got the cracker. Who wants it? Oh, you want it apparently, huh? We just woke up to the freaking scariest thing ever. Our hotel, like, Kay. lights were going off red. Yes, look at this. It's 4.18 in the morning. That is an emergency alert for an earthquake. It, when I tell you, my heart is pounding. The whole entire hotel was shaking. Japan, you gave me a little bit of a scare. Yeah. Today is day three in Japan, and we've been driving for a couple of hours to come see Mount Fuji. This is where we're staying tonight, and we are standing in front of it, and it looks it's so big and so beautiful. We found this, like, I guess it's like kind of a good spot of stairs that kind of lead up to the perfect view of Mount Fuji, so we're gonna go look at it. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> Not <gosh. laughs> it's so small. <laughs> There's Mount Fuji right there. I think the elevation is like 15,000 15, feet, something like that. Pretty beautiful. We are at this, the most beautiful flower field right in front of Mount Fuji. Apparently this is like a really popular park um, full of flowers. And we came here because it's beautiful number one. Also we wanted to get fun pictures. So let me just show you what the view looks like. Ty and Dakota decided to go take a romantic swim through the flowers. Picked up a souvenir that looks pretty much just like our view. We are eating dinner at this, but essentially you, you cook your food in front of you. So you order your meats and everything raw and then you cook it to your liking in front of you. We are cooking our meat right now, our dinner. Like look at our meat, look how marbled that is. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we just finished eating at the restaurant where we cooked in front of us. And I've gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised with all of the food. It was delicious. We had, for the first time ever, Wagyu steak. How do we feel about Kobe? How do we feel about it? It like melted in my mouth. Yeah, it, it was, it was like grill. eating butter. butter, for lack of a better word. Good morning. Where are we? We're at Disney Sea today. I'm so pumped because I love Disney and this is like a whole new Disney I've never tried before. Yeah, we can check oh. it off the bucket list. Yeah, we can check it off the bucket list. Disney Sea. Disney World. So Tokyo has two Disneys, like regular Disney and then Disney Sea, which is like on water, essentially. So I'm pumped. Okay, we got through the wait of scanning our tickets and everything. And we're about to go get in line for our first ride here at Disney Sea. <laughs> we're gonna go do like the Big Thunder Mountain. That one we have in the US Disney as well. But we're just gonna try to hit as many of the rides as we possibly can. So that one's gonna be our first one. Okay, we are trying the Pork Gyoza Burrito. I don't really know what it's called. Like a yoga? No. Good. Time for ride number two. Oh, but we're going up. I was a little scared. I'm always scared. It does a 360. It does a loop, so she's a little scared, but I'm excited. I love roller coasters. Okay, we just left Disney Sea, and we are now heading to Disneyland. To Disneyland, because why wouldn't we do both in one day? So we're taking the Disney train over to Disneyland for the back half of the day. So we've made it to the entrance. I don't know if you can see of Tokyo Disneyland. So much happy. Finally, a Disney castle. So tonight we decided to try what is rated the best ramen place in Shinjuku, which is the town of Tokyo we are in. So we're gonna try it. I'm super excited because I love ramen. Look at that food. That just melted in my mouth. Did it really? Yeah. So eating ramen does get a little difficult when your hair is down. They literally just offered me a hairband to hold my hair up. The people here are so nice. Okay, so as you can tell, Brooklyn is a fan. 
That is her second bowl of noodles. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, official review. That was the most phenomenal ramen ever had. It was so flavorful. It was so rich. The noodles were like cooked to perfection. Like I'm gonna dream about that food. Okay, this morning is day six in Japan and we are starting it off strong by eating fluffy pancakes, which are really popular in Japan. Basically, they're like these really thick, chunky, jiggly pancakes and I'm so pumped to try them. We stack them on top of each other so they're like that high. Mm, ready to eat. Okay, our food just came. First of all, look at how thick those pancakes are. The bacon's like just as thick. And the bacon, yeah, the bacon is so thick. Looks ready good. to eat. I'm ready. Take a bite of your pancakes. I mean, he's already taken a bite, but take another bite of your pancakes. I like them. You they're like different, them? but they're good. They're it's so like pretty. A and French it was, toast, yeah. a lot of egg in it. Yeah, it was a pretty experience. One of the number one things to do in Japan Definitely is to do Mario Kart. Basically, you get a literal go kart and you can drive it on the streets of Tokyo and race your. So that's what we decided to do today. Was come do real life Mario Kart. I'm so pumped. I'm been, so excited. I've been practicing my whole life for this. I so. literally played Mario Kart all growing up, so this is like a dream. Look at all of the kart options. There are so many. I feel like this is like literal Mario Kart. You can customize your kart. Okay, look. Okay, they have all of these costumes you can pick from. Koda, show us your costume. Don't tell. Ava I did not mean to match Dakota. Is Piglet with no tail. Piglet! <laughs> I am not sure what tie is. I don't know either. It's from, it's like a, I think it's like anime something. Oh. <laughs> and the aliens from Toy Story. Hey, you wanna race? Yeah! Y'all, this is so cool. Literally, there's a car. There's everyone else. We're literally just like on the streets of Tokyo. This thing goes 100 miles an hour. So much fun. Literally, you were in the actual streets of Tokyo, driving in these little, like Mario karts, racing each other down the street. It was so fun, it was so cool. You got to drive for a whole hour. Overall, 10 out of 10, highly recommend if you ever come to Tokyo to do that. We are headed up to the top of Shibuya Sky. We saw this all over TikTok. It's like one of the tallest buildings in Tokyo and you can go to the top of it and pretty much see the whole city as the sun sets. So we're gonna head up to the top. You have to reserve this in like advance. So we reserved this probably, I think Ty reserved this like a month and a half ago. For like sunset. it was a long time ago for sunset. So we're gonna head up. I don't even know how many floors and go see what the view looks like up there. We thought the view looked good during the day. Look at it at night. We are on Shibuya Crossing right now. So we were up there. Now we're down. Good morning, everyone. Hi. It's day seven of us being in Japan, and today we are starting off our day going to the fish market. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the place that we're in. Tsukiji? Tsukiji? <laughs> fish market? Apparently it's really popular. I don't know if you can tell by the literal crowds that are here, but it has everything and anything you'd ever want to eat. So we're gonna try as much as we possibly can. Obviously, not gonna eat any seafood, me. But everyone else is gonna try everything else that they can, and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, we have crab. 
King crab. You ready for this? I have been convinced to try. I look at. I'm only gonna try this teeny tiny little piece because you guys know how I am with seafood. Not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Good job. I'm not gonna eat more, but that's not bad. <laughs> so we are gonna get some croissants. We've had a lot of fish, so these look really good, so. Okay, I just got the butter croissant, and I'm gonna have Brooklyn try it first. Okay, I'm also videoing on my phone. We're doing two at a time, so. Let's see how it tastes. That was good. So naturally, after doing a lot of research on TikTok about what is necessary to see and do in Japan, one of the big yeah. things that we saw was this like art museum called Team Labs. Essentially, it is this like art museum that has rooms and every room is a different texture or feel or taste or touch or smell or whatever. So every room is a different experience. We've heard it's super Instagrammable, super video friendly. So we're excited to go in and see what it's all about. You can see. Team Labs right behind us. Good morning everyone, it is day eight in Japan and we are headed home today, Ooh. maybe, because our yeah. flight has been delayed two hours and it is now making us miss all of our connections. I literally was on hold for like an hour this morning and got nowhere. We are gonna try to head to the airport and see what we can figure out with the airlines, see how we're gonna get home. We made it, <laughs> see you back, we'll see you in we made it to Dallas. We Hi. are getting in the car right car now. Drive. Really didn't think we were gonna make it. Not gonna lie. If you had asked me this morning if we were gonna get home, the feel, answer would have been no. I don't even feel jet lagged. Like I'm ready for bed. Oh, I'm tired. I feel jet. I That's the be... definition of jet lag. Like tired. Oh. Yeah, we're both jet lagged. I Can you tell we're both schedule. jet lagged? I thought <laughs> no. It was off schedule. It's a little bit of both, but it's time for us to get home and go to bed. So I'm just thankful we made it home. Yeah. 